Hey, Patrick here, Half Cheetah Will View, and uh, we are back with another film review. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, as what as I want to do once in a while when I'm uh, uh, working or pushing or promoting an upcoming eight questions with, uh, sometimes I'll put on a movie on and um, and I'll watch it while I'm doing this. And the movie that I decided to watch today uh, was none other than Christmas Twister from 2012. Uh, of course, I had to watch it because it has two of my very favorite actors in it, Casper Van Dien and Victoria Pratt. Uh, this movie was, was directed by Peter Sullivan, who um, is remarkable in the sense that he is a hearing impaired, uh, 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 um, hearing impaired. And so he directs his movies. He's practically deaf, but he makes movies. He, he, he gets them done. Um so and he also co-wrote this uh, movie with a gentleman named Hans Wasserberger. So the movie is co is is pretty well stacked as far as names go. Uh, you have uh, uh, you have Casper Van Dien plays uh, Ethan Walker. You have Victoria Pratt who plays uh, his wife. Uh, Richard Richard Berge, who also starred in Starship Troopers. He starred uh, Hero of the Federation. Uh, which was the sequel to the original Starship Troopers, which Casper Van Dien was in. Uh, we also have Haley Lou Richardson in a very early role. Uh, she is now a pretty well-known actress. And also has a couple of, of, of faces that people might be familiar with. One being Stephen Williams, of course, from 21 Jump Street. But more important to horror fans, he also played in Jason Goes to Hell. All right. And for us... Uh, we saw Christine uh, De Rosa on here. Uh, Christina De Rosa uh, uh, also did an interview with us on Eight Questions with. Uh, I did not know she was in it until I saw her, and uh, she pl she played uh, uh, Deb, the uh, a main character, main supporting character. So the story is this: uh, a couple, uh, uh, Ethan and Addison, they they're in Texas. Uh, Addison is a newscaster, and uh, Casper Van Dien plays the meteorologist. Uh, he once called a um, he all he once called for an outbreak of tornadoes, which didn't happen, and that included a town being evacuated. So supposedly he got discredited for that, and he was forced to move from Chicago back down to down to a smaller uh, town in Texas. Um, so he's still working as a scientist, and of course now uh, uh, Addison's at the local news station, and it's a small market, and she actually is getting a chance to move to a bigger market because her co-anchor, uh, uh, or her meteorologist co-anchor, uh, Logan Haynes, played by Richard Berge, uh, is working to get them both into a bigger market. And... Um, of course, Addison is torn between that because her, while her and Ether are having a little bit, little bit of a rough patch, uh, she still likes doing what she does uh, and where she's at. And she doesn't really seem to be all that interested in moving on to a bigger market. Uh, and then we start seeing uh, tornadoes coming, uh, you know, two days, three days before Christmas. And the first tornado hits a diner and destroys a diner and a, a gas station and, you know, so we got a, a harbinger of what's going to happen. Uh, so throughout the movie, uh, we see tornadoes come out. Um, a pair of twister, a pair of guys are following a tornado and they see a train get derailed. Um, they're going to be famous on YouTube. Back in 2012, they were staying that. Uh, so, of course, you know, with, you know, uh, uh, Ethan's tracking all these storms and he's raising, trying to raise the alarm about them, you know, saying it's going to be pretty big tornadoes, but Addison is a little bit shy about saying anything because of what happened before. Plus, the, the weatherman, Logan, is saying that uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's everything's going to be fine. And But he, his computer model can't see underneath what, he, what, what his computer is seeing. He can't, he can't see that underneath there is a massive supercell. So he thinks it's fine, but underneath it is a massive supercell that's going to cause a lot of damage. Of course, the family gets uh, uh, separated. That's part. That's key for the for these movies. Addison's at the at the station. Um, Ethan and his son, um, when they find out that their daughter, uh, their daughter uh, Caitlin, is has ditched school and is going to go meet her crush at the local mall, and of course. Uh, 
Uh, Ethan has to rush over there to find her, uh, taking his son Max with him. So uh, there's there's a lot of running around. Harry, you know, like you know, and and we see tornadoes hitting the mall. Uh, 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 Caitlin's crush gets killed, uh, but she st she sticks around and she saves a, a, a young girl. Uh, Max and uh, Ethan get there to find her. Uh, Ethan tells his son to stay in the car, but he jumps out. He ends up saving a an, uh, a grandfather, but he's almost killed in the process, so he's banged up. Uh, at the station, we see Addison, who's a uh, nine-month uh, nine month pregnant assistant, uh, went down to the basement to find her a CB radio. Well, a tornado comes and, uh, um, and well, well, one thing, it solves her problem. Uh, as, as Logan is killed and covering the tornado. Uh, Deb, Deb, she's all about the news, all about the ratings until she sees the the result of her actions, uh, like sending the guy out to in the middle of a storm has tragic consequences. And so that's that's not good for her. So uh, overall, overall, I mean, this, uh, you know, overall, this wasn't too bad. I, you know, you see a lot of these movies. This is probably made for the Sci-Fi Channel. I'm sure it was. Uh, you know, this wasn't too bad. Um, I know some people who are s sort of snobbish were sitting there saying how this wasn't all that good, but I thought it was fine. Um, uh, uh, Casper Van Dien, uh, uh, you know, works hard. Uh, Victoria Pratt, who uh, shined in Mutant X. I mean. What have you ever seen Victoria Pratt ever look bad in a movie, right? Uh, Haley, Ru Haley uh, Lou Richardson, early role for her. She was fine. Richard Berge, uh, again, the cast was fine. Uh, uh, Christina De Rosa, what a really cute Texan accent she had, too. Uh, she was really cute in this. Uh, and and she learned a valuable lesson at the end of the movie. Um so all in all, everybody has a happy ending except for uh, uh, except for uh, uh, Logan, and sadly his cameraman, which who who uh, I wish he would have survived because he deserved to, <laughs> but that's what happens. Uh, overall, I would give this movie a solid six. Um, the effects were sci-fi quality. I mean, you know, you're gonna get that sci-fi movies, uh, but overall, the the family showing the family dynamic, showing them coming together, and, and they're all and they're all pretty much, you know, service service oriented people, which is a you know not a bad thing to see in a in a movie. I mean, this really was uh, based toward the family, and I'm alright with that. Um, and I thought it was cool. I, I liked it. Um, of course, like I said, I saw this on TV for free, so there's no special features or anything like that. I would say this movie is rated PG. Uh, there's no bad language in it. Um, the violence, you know, the the you know the the weather violence is actually very very minimum. Um, you only see you only see a couple of people by the farm. So all in all, this is this is a movie that I would recommend, you know, for 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 popcorn in a soda, um, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun, and I'm glad I saw it on Tubi, and um, recommend it. All right, that's all I got for today. Um, I do say I got to say uh, I got to give my hats off again to Peter Sullivan for directing this film. I thought he did a good job with it. I mean, it's it's competently made. Um, a little cheesy, but that's what these movies are about. All right, they're bulletproof. All right, well, thanks for uh, watching the review. If you've seen Christmas Twister. Um, uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Um, except for you, Echo, because I already know. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Called you out on Christmas Twister. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And, uh, we'll see you for the next one. Peace. <laughs>